Hey, it's Prerag and in this video we're installing this auto headlight switch in my 2010 Lora. This is the switch the car comes with and we will be replacing it with this auto headlight switch. The car has uh, wiring mostly laid out, we just need to add one repair wire and it's very very easy. We, re we need really basic tools for this. We require a trim remover tool, a T20 bit screwdriver, just one repair wire and anything to code the BCM with. BCDS, OBD11, both of them work. And obviously we'll require the auto headlight switch. I got mine from overseas. And if you want it, I can source it for you as well from either that red cells or my Instagram page for this car itself, which is project 4771. With all the tools and parts acquired, let's get straight to installation. Step one would be removing the uh, current headlight switch, which is very easy. You just push it in from the zero position turn it clockwise to parking light position you will feel that it is getting stuck there and that is when you pull it out it's very easy with the switch out of uh, its location you can unplug its pigtail connector you just push on the tab that is sticking out slightly and pull out the connector with the switch removed we need to access the bcm because we need to run a wire from this connector to the bcm bcm is all the way under there so to access it properly we will remove this beige trim piece and to remove it we need to remove these two grey pieces because there are two screws hidden under there there are two screws down below and there's one more screw behind this trim piece so let's open it all up and undo those screws to remove this beige trim piece this is where your trim removal tool will come in handy if you use a flathead screwdriver you might accidentally scratch your trims but because this is plastic it's not going to scratch plastic uh, if, if, if you were to use um, flat blade screwdriver then it would have scratched plastic very easily with the trim removed you will see it's uh, stuck right here because the obd port is still connected to it there are just three locks holding it in one at the top and two at the bottom just use a flat head squeeze them down and it will be easily removed with the three locks undone you can see it just slides out and you can see the three locks better right here you can see there's one at the top and two at the bottom with the trim out of our way you can just pull down this insulation it will be around the vents you can just pull it down to have easier access to the bcm which is right over there you see those three plugs white brown and black you can see the black really but this is where the bcm is and we need to add one wire to this black one that one wire that needs to go to this to the BCM is this repair wire and it originates from the connector for the headlight switch. There will be one empty slot in this that we need to add one side of this repair wire to and the other end goes to the black uh, connector of the BCM. So let's open this up and add that wire into it. Just remove some of this tape that is holding it on and then there is this tiny tab on the top then it, that you need to push outwards and then the block of this connector this is the shield the block of this connector can just be pulled out and we can add our desired wires in this block as you can see it's just slot number two that is empty rest all are occupied and that is the one slot we need to add one end of this wire to it just push it in and it is shaped slightly as you can see there is a tiny tab on one side so it's unidirectional it's not gonna go in any other direction as you can see there's just a tab that is sticking out and it will go in easily and it will click into place after the wire has been inserted you can put back the shield on it and apply the tape back on and try to include the wire inside of the tape that you just added Next step is to add this in the black connector of the BCM but before you unplug that make sure to remove the battery 
so that you don't have any unwanted problems in your car because BCM is a really a uh, vital part of your car. So let's unplug the battery first and then unplug the connector. When unplugging the battery, make sure to remove the negative terminal of it so that if it does touch anything which is bare metal, it won't short anything, it will just touch ground. Now that the battery is unplugged, we are safe to remove this black connector right here. You can see there is a tab and a white lever. Just push in that tab a little bit and simultaneously pull on that white tab and it will undo itself just like that. Now to open this black connector, you might need to remove some tape around it so that it can release itself. It has two locks on either side. There's one right here and there's one on the other side as you can see. You just need to pull on them simultaneously and pull out the sheathing or the shell of the connector. As you can see one side has been released, the other side has been released as well. Now as you can see it has already spliced slightly. You just need to splice it so that it, so that it breaks into two. And now you just need to find pin number, slot number 20 on this and insert your repair wires other end into that. That right there is slot number 20 which is empty and we'll just insert the pin in that just like we inserted in this connector. And now we just close the connector back up just like we spliced it earlier. We are going to close it. With the connector looking like one full block, we can just insert the shield of it back on. Make sure that they are perfectly rectangular, like they're squared up, edges are meeting. You can just push it back in, both the locks are locked. You can push it in to confirm that it is locked. Now route the wire a little better. We'll do that just now, but get under the car, align the connector and just uh, keep the lever in this position and when it is aligned with the uh, body of the BCM, the slot of the BCM, you can just pull this lever back up and like that it will just lock in its place. Once you hear that lock, you are good to go. Now we'll route this wire a little better. So to route the wire better, I just taped it along the original wiring harness as far back as I could and I did the same on the BCM's connector and the wire just goes from here as you can see on top of the BCM on the side and to the connector so it's pretty concealed and this wiring mess you can ignore because this is something this is a different retrofit that I'm trying to make work ignore that but yeah this part of it has been completed now we just need to put back everything that we have removed uh, connect the new auto headlight switch code it and then use it actually test it first <laughs> So let's do that now. Installation is the opposite of removal, so it's going to be really easy, really straightforward. With everything put back together, I have connected the battery as well and you will be greeted with a few faults, don't worry about them. That bulb out is there because we haven't coded the auto headlight switch yet. We have to tell the BCM that uh, you have an auto function now. So, and that steering that you see, you just need to calibrate it. Once you remove the battery, it might need calibration again. Just steer lock to lock and it should go away. As you can see, it has gone. And to fix that, we need to code now. So let's get to that. So with our VCDs connected in the OBD port and the software running, we need to open the BCM which is Central Electronics, 09 Central Electronics. Go to coding, long coding helper and in bytes 17, we need to select uh, bit 4, 5 and 6. This should be it. This coming home and leaving home means when you lock and unlock the car, your lights will turn on. ADL basically means that it will register the auto headlight switch. So let's just write the coding. Perfect coding accepted. 
it's night time now as you can see and in auto mode the headlights are on and i'm going to uh, show you how the coming home feature works basically when you shut the ignition off take the key out of the uh, ignition everything is off and as soon as you open the door the lights will turn on this is the coming home feature because i've just parked my car i've just came home now once the lights turn off i'll show you the leaving home i'll just lock the car and once the lights turn off i'll unlock it and you'll see lights turn back on that is the leaving home feature of it the lights have now turned off the car is now locked now if i unlock it lights will turn back on as you can see lights have now turned back on and if it's daytime obviously lights won't turn on it is an it is only for the night time when it's dark out and you can't really see i really like this fading effect that it gives i'll show you how to adjust the time for it as well to adjust the time of coming home and leaving home instead of going into coding in central electronics you go into adaptation choose this drop down menu and there's this there are these two uh, options coming home time leaving home time now if it says error channel not available over here i'll show you the trick for it go into coding and there is a specific byte in which there is an option for maxi dot so byte 9 bit 3 multifunction display board computer wire operation blah 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 so uncheck this if it is checked in yours because if this is checked it basically means uh, the car thinks that you have maxi dot installed and if you have maxi dot all the settings for your coming home leaving home are going to be via that menu and if this is checked the bcm is going to think well you can just refer to that menu over there and it won't let you access the adaptation so as you can see you can select a range of 10 seconds to 60 seconds i'll just edit mine to 15 test save perfect i'll do the same for leaving home time perfect now there are a few more codings that you can choose just like if you want the coming home uh, lights to turn on as soon as you kill the ignition or you want it to operate when you open the door this byte byte 12 bit 0 lets you do exactly that you can see if you check it it's going to turn on when you open the door and not as soon as you kill the ignition and this is for manual operation or automatic operation of coming home just let this be don't choose manual operation because automatic operation is much better now if i unlock the car the lights will turn on just like that it looks so cool that breathing effect of the tail light it looks so cool and when they shut down as well they breathe down as you can see it fades out now for the front i had a special uh, function already activated by vcb that i had borrowed from uh, n square auto tech as you can see when i unlock not only is it going to turn on the headlights but also the indicator lamp which is part of coming home leaving home feature i had activated that by vcb so this was it on the topic of auto headlight switch i hope you enjoyed the video and i know you have been waiting for all wheel drive conversion episodes of the lora They will start coming out this month as I will start the process really soon. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.